am sailing, I am sailing home again, across the sea. I am sailing stormy waters to be near you, to be free. I am flying, I am flying like a bird across the sky.
Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and our momentary troubles are achieved for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Amen. Um, I thought this little piece was just so appropriate for Nev, so I want to share it with you. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how strong men, how strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The critic belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, who faces whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who knows great enthusiasm, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who is best, who best knows in the end that triumph of high achievements and at, and at worst. If he fails, at least he fails while bearing greatly so that his face will never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Uh, 27 years ago, I walked into our home in Mshlonga to find my dad's friend <laughs> holding my mother's hand while sitting on the couch. Um, <laughs> My dad had passed around a year back, and my mom had met Nev, and they started dating. I was not pleased. <laughs> but being around 25 years old at the time, I was selfish towards my own desires. Um, and for my mom, and not for my mom, um, and not thinking what was best for her. Over the years, Nev became a family, a friend, a father, <coughs> a grandfather and a loving husband. The reason I prefer to this memory is that over time, Nev and I would have amazing chats about my dad and the stories that they'd have while drawing in the drawing days. Nev being a friend turned out to be a blessing and not the opposite. While it's always sad to let someone go, we would rather focus on the blessings of the time spent together the good times, the laughter and the jokes around the fire, and the sound of music always filling our homes when we were all together. To Nev's children and sister, um, family and friends, we share your grief, but know that through death he is now at peace, and we will live fondly in our memory forever. So I don't know who else would like to say something, but for all of you who would like to say something, um, you can come and have your turn. And uh, who would like to be next? Come on, then. yours is already here. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone. For the, those that don't know me, my name is Nick and I'm Yodin and Neville's grandson. Although Neville and, I, Neville and I were not blood related, he was more than just family to me. I'm going to read you a letter I wrote for my grandpa and I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet just like him. Dear Grandpa Nunu, A week ago today, I never thought I'd be speaking in Trapuno. I'm going to suddenly wear makeup. <laughs> Instead, I thought I'd be popping in for a visit to see how you were coming from your surgery. You'd have a brand new Coke in one hand and a cigarette in the other. You'd most probably be watching the highlights of the 1995 World Cup final for the 100th time. 
And that's what makes you with excitement anyway. But I guess life's not that easy as I am today. It's only been a couple of days since you're gone and it still doesn't feel real. I'll never forget the days I used to come home from primary school and you'd ask me, what did you do at school today, my boy? And I'd reply, nothing. I keep telling you nothing and you keep asking. <laughs> After you and my grand would have a good laugh and I'd sit on your lap and you'd watch Tom and Jerry until my mom or dad put Kate's now up. The older I got, the dirtier your jokes got. <laughs> and I'm sure you're up there sitting amongst family and friends telling these same jokes. You never failed to put a smile on my face, and I cherish the memories you've shared forever. Thank you so much for being by my grand's side to thick and thin, and I know how much you loved it. I hope that one day I can look at my wife the same way as you looked at her. I know you're looking down over Casey and Graham, protecting them and giving them the strength that they need. I wish you so much, Grandpa. This isn't a goodbye, but instead I'll see you later. Love you lots. Love Nick. jungle gym and a swing set. My grandpa was a real homebody and loved to watch all his sports, especially rugby on the TV. So much so that he would repeatedly watch the Springbok World Cups from previous years on YouTube. He loved his brandy and coke or a whiskey and soda every night and enjoyed listening to Willie Nelson and Chris Christopherson. He would tell me all his stories of his adventures overseas and about his time in the war. He would always crack jokes and make us smile and told so many jokes that he could write a book full of them. His spirit never wavered, even when he got sick. And whenever I would come over to complain and get upset over my studies, which was quite regularly, he always listened attentively. He must have thought, oh God, not here again. But he never complained. I remember when I was about six years old, when at catechism for church, when I remember telling my teacher that I had a fake grandpa. <laughs> my teacher told me, told my grand about it, and so my grand explained to her that Neville was my step-grandfather. Even though my grandpa and I are not related by blood, he was a true grandfather to me in every way that counted. And I feel very privileged to have had him in my life and to have been his granddaughter. He was the best grandpa that I could ever have asked for, and I miss him every day. I am so gratefully grateful that I have gotten to spend almost every day with him this year, and I will miss our chats together. My heart is sore, but this isn't a goodbye. It's a see you later. I will always love you, Grandpa. During this difficult time, you must remember that courage is not having the strength to go on. It is going on when you don't have the strength. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, okay, guys. So, um, do any of you want to have a, a chat? Um, you can say something. Because if not, we're just going to play some cool music, the music that he kind of liked and always, you know, celebrated with. We can just catch up. There are snacks available. If you guys want some cold drinks, you can just order it from behind the counter. 
and to move forward. I think it's just so lovely and I, I think it's a pity that we had to all be together like this for this type of occasion. It would have been more awesome to be able to do this while he was alive. Yeah. Um, but he lives on. He lives on in our hearts and in our thoughts and in our memories. And I suppose it's up to us to keep him alive. So that's what we'll do. Okay. I'd also just like to say one thing. <laughs> I thank God every day for you being your dad's life and Casey's life. You have been, you are an angel on this earth and you gave dad, I think, honestly, the best years of his life and the way you nursed and cared for dad in the end. At your age, with your hands full with KC, it's just admirable. I don't think I would have the energy and the strength to do what you do in a day. And I just want you to know how grateful. It always gave me such a peace to know that Dad was in such a good, loving place with you. And I thank you for that, Yola. Words can never express to you how grateful and the peace it gave me knowing. Is it fading? 
Yeah, we swore on that night we'd be friends till we died. But the changing of winds and the way waters flow, life is short. so sad I know it's over but life goes on and this old world will keep on turning let's just be glad we had some time to spend together There's no need to watch the bridges that we're burning Lay your head upon my pillow Hold your warm and tender body close to mine Hear the whisper of the raindrops blowing soft against the window And make believe you love me one more time For the good times I'll get along You'll find another And I'll be here If you should find You ever need me Don't say a word About tomorrow Or forever There'll be time enough for sadness when you leave me. Lay your head upon my pillow. Hold your warm and tender body close to mine. 
Hear the whisper of the raindrops blowing soft against the window. Make believe you love me one more time. For the good time.